I'm going to show you how to get that fresh, summery, holiday skin, beach to bar in a few easy steps. Now, if you want to create more of a sun-kissed glow, we're going to take the bronzer in the areas where we would actually catch the sun. So, start through the hairline and down onto the temple, through onto the cheekbones. We're going to take a little bit just across the bridge of the nose, and that's going to create that real kind of sun-kissed goddess look. Now, obviously, the more you build, the darker you're going to get. And I definitely recommend a bronzer that's slightly more browny reddish tones than yellow or gold and steer clear of that sparkly bronzer because it is going to make you look too made up, not natural, and you're not going to look like you're going to the beach, you're going to look like you're going to a nightclub. And as a finishing touch, we're just going to take a little bit of this bronzer, take it down from the neck to the decollete, and this is going to tone everything in and kind of give you that uniform bronze glow. If you bronze the skin, definitely make sure you put a little bit more highlight in, especially if you want that kind of summery, goddessy glow. Because what that's going to do is add definition back, create that sun-kissed finish and really give the skin a natural flush and glow. My last trick with a bronzer is to just run it slightly through the socket line of the eyelid. Bring it right into the edge towards the nose and right out to the outer corner of the eye. And this is going to create a great definition for your eyelid, but also tie in your bronzy look. So now we've got beautiful bronze skin. It's really important to put a little bit of color in so we don't just all look one tone. We're also gonna pop a little bit of this product just onto the cheekbone. I love a cream blush in the summer because it really mimics natural skin. It makes the skin look fresh and glowy. It's not over the top. It's not too powdery. It won't sit in any lines. It reflects the light and it really does give that fresh summer glow. You can also use a little bit of your cream blush just on the center of the eyelid. And again, that's just gonna give that really fresh peachy glow, mimic the natural glows in the skin and really tie all your summer makeup together. I'm gonna to start by running this creamy pencil along the lash line. Quite thick, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go in with a pencil and we're just gonna smudge it upwards. This is called a sunrise effect because if we pull it out too far, it can make the eyes look tired and slightly less awake. It doesn't matter if this is thick, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with a brush and we're gonna blend it anyway. I'm gonna take a brush, and instead of going outwards, I'm gonna go upwards. This is called a sunrise effect, and this suits every eye shape of every age, because you're not pulling it out, you're not making the eye look tired, but you're just giving it a little bit of shape and definition. The reason I haven't chosen black to do this is because black can be quite harsh and it can overtake the rest of your makeup. This is a basic, fresh, summery makeup, but we're just taking it a little bit more smoky for the evening. Now, if you're worried about under your eyes looking tired, you can skip this step. But I think it's really nice to kind of frame the eye with a pencil. So when you're using a creamy pencil, they're really easy to create a smoky eye because they're really blendable. By using like a really hard powder or cold pencil, it's gonna be hard to blend. So if you're not a dab hand at creating a smoky eye, this will do the job for you. So last step with, this, with a pencil is to look up to the ceiling, is to pop a little bit of a creamy shade just through the waterline of the eye. I'm not using white because white's too garish and too stark, but just by using a little bit of a flesh tone, it's really gonna keep the eyes nice and open and awake and really pop your smoky eye. My last trick is obviously a mascara. No eye is finished without a mascara. And I'm just gonna use a curling mascara through the lashes, just to really give definition to the eye, but without overbearing. A mascara that has a comb wand is great for your bottom lashes, so you don't make any mistakes and catch your eye makeup underneath. Go along and just kiss each small little lash with the end of the brush. You can go into the roots of your top lashes as well to create that real dark depth. Just by using a creamy pencil and a dark black mascara, you can turn your daytime makeup into evening makeup in a couple of easy steps. <laughs>